Welcome to your practice. Today we're going to do the Tibetan Five, the Tibetan Rites. So go ahead and stand up. The first one we're going to spin. Gradually increase in increments of three. So you can start with three if you get dizzy and then let yourself come into a child's pose or nice and slow to 21. Each of these five rites are meant to be repeated 21 times, but please start where you are. Let the body evolve as strength increases. Then you'll go ahead after 21 and come into child's pose. Let yourself rest, rest the spine, rest the back. And then we'll come into a seated moving twist. So one more breath here and then sit up, bring the arms to one side, twist all the way back and then forward. Nice deep breath in and then exhale forward. two or three on one side, and then reverse. Stay on that same side and reverse the twist. So in the center, nice deep breath, nice and tall. And as you spin back, curl the spine. And then pause in the center, one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, connect. Other side, twist, moving twist. Deep inhale, nice and tall, looking back. Exhale, curl the spine. And then reverse, stay on that same side. As you come forward, nice and tall, exhale back. Then go ahead and lay on your back for a moving twist. Bend the knees, both arms out. Go ahead and let the legs fall over to one side. The top leg will reach down while the top arm reaches up, like a yawn. Let yourself fall forward. And then that same top arm will come out from the shoulder while the top leg reaches out from the hip. And you can fluidly move like this two, three, four times playfully. Let the body move like this. And then come on over to the other side. Drag the hips over to the other side, lay the legs, one stacking over the other, arms out like a T. And then that top arm reaches up while the top leg can reach down. Let yourself fall forward. Move at your own comfortable pace. two or three times, just like that is perfect. Feel that playful way that your body can move like this in and out of that twist. And then we'll come into the second right here where we lift and lower our legs. So interlace the fingers behind the back of the skull. Lift the legs and then lower to wherever you're comfortable or to wherever your lower back will allow. If your lower back is sore, you can have a blanket under it. You can even bring your palms face down 
right underneath the hips for a little bit of height. You can lift one leg at a time or again, build in increments. Start with three, all the way to 21. You've got this. Strengthen the body. And then come into uh, your version of happy baby. I like to clasp hold of the hands behind the knees, roll over to one side and move the foot rolling and fluttering the toes a wee bit, the head rolling in the opposite direction of the body. It's a nice little rock and roll of the lower spine the legs reaching out one at a time. Come into your version. From side to side, feel that roll. And then go ahead and make fists right at the lower back. And like a bow and an arc, you come forward like a bow and then trace the nose up the wall in front of you, up to the ceiling, and then back to a bow. As many as your body will allow in increments of three. And when you're done, 21, go ahead and stack the hands in front of you in a child's pose, one on top of the other. Bring the forehead on top, or you can interlace the fingers and bring the forehead on top. Three breaths, let the belly move as you breathe. And then go ahead and point the nose over to one side. So lay one ear down three breaths right there. Fill the body right up. Let the heart drop on the exhale. And then go ahead on the other side, other ear down, three breaths, filling the back body, the rib cage, let it expand. And as you exhale, feel the heart drop in. Stay here as long as you like.
We'll move into the fourth right now. So sit with the legs out in front of you. Option to bring some blocks or some rolled towels underneath the hands or the elbows. As you fold forward, check in to where your starting point is. Just a few breaths here in a forward fold before we start to move in and out. This is like reverse tabletop. A fluid movement to reverse tabletop and back to your forward fold. So press into the blocks, lift, swing the sit bones back and up. Feel the sit bones, they can swing through and then up to the sky. Again, in increments of three, do what you can do and allow your strength to evolve with you. Feel the fluidity. Rest when you need to. And then go ahead and come into your forward fold when you feel complete. After 3 or 21, whatever number you're on. The elbows can rest on the blocks or on the legs. You can hang on to the feet or not. Breathe deeply and allow the belly to move. Rise and fall. Feel the belly. Fill right up and then empty. And we'll come into the last one, our fifth right. By coming into our hands and our knees in a cat and cow, an arc, and then a rounding of the spine. So nice arc, and then a rounding of the spine maybe a wagging of the tail. You can move the head from side to side, a little shake, shake, shake. Feel the spinal column move like this. And then go ahead and come into your downward facing dog and we'll come into a fluidity with downward facing dog and upward facing dog. So the heart will swing through the arms, exposing the neck. So the nose might point up as you swing through. Again, come into as many as your body can and let yourself build. Feel your strength. Notice your breath. And have some fun.
then go ahead and come into your child's pose. The arms can be in front or go ahead and bring them back. Thread them down, palms up. Resting the body now and honoring where you're at. Feel your breath. Thank you for your practice.